food poisoning. A little better than yesterday. Uh, it's night, I know, because the sky is dark. Uh, luckily, I have some pretty good healthcare company. Don't want to exactly. There's a little hum from the light bulb. I don't know if that'll get picked up on the camera. I've grown somewhat or fairly dehydrated. I would say by dawn I'll have been pretty well knocked out for 60 hours. But nevertheless, in keeping with this program, we're doing a meditation a day regardless of how you're feeling or how much time you have or where you find yourself, which I expect is somewhat instructive or empowering or elucidating the idea that you don't have to have the, you don't have to have reached the mountain top with the proper type of incense on the right um, day of the lunar calendar to meditate. It can be where you are, as you are, for the amount of time that you have. And in this case, I'm really rather not feeling up to much, which I think is probably evident. But, and my buddy here, who is exceedingly in the moment, and there's a, a star or a planet in the sky, which I'm sure you can't see, but it's over there through the window. For me, this is a GI situation. So I've had quite a bit of time with my mind on my belly. And the belly is earth element. And, uh, Maybe what I'll do is I'll consider a different phase for meditation. So I think uh, I'll do a fire meditation. Of the earth. And fire is uh, the element or face of the heart. But I'm not feeling that my heart is particularly up to this. And maybe that it's rather depleted. So I'm going to do a wood meditation. 
in support of the fire, in support of the earth, which is the stomach. Is that okay with you, Saki? Is that a good idea? I, I think of wood as having the primary quality of reaching. And I often think of that when I see Saki doing the stretching. I feel like that the mode I feel like I've learned a fair amount of that from him. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that. He's curled up now. So the wood is also usually vertical, you know, so it's a meditation I do sitting or standing. Uh, it's not in the cards right now. for joining me. Thank you for that. Sorry for the delay here. I'm trying to summon the gumption for the meditation as well as settle myself on what meditation we're doing. Yeah. I know you know we're ready for it. Yeah, you got up because you knew we're ready for meditation, huh? You just made sure to get started. Yeah. Why don't we just get started already? I think I'll just focus on the relatively horizontal reach, the spreading, I'll call it, the spreading of the canopy in the root system, which is partly vertical and partly horizontal, but I think it may be the most horizontal of the reachings of the trees. So I'm gonna Tune into the spreading of my mind, and the broadening. As well as the spreading of my feet, which I'm doing now literally. Spreading my toes, spreading the joints in my feet. Also thinking of how the feet spread the weight that comes their way out upon the earth. My feet also spread my experience and existence around the world that carry me from place to place. Upstairs, the mind spreads, maybe through the intention. Out to the world, 
perhaps in all the directions. Kind of feeling my body in the tree spread shape, a little bit hourglass like, wide at the top, wide at the bottom. Moving towards where I can sense that my body, my physical body is that shape. begin to feel more broadly connected to the sky and the earth. Thank you, Saki. That was starting to take me to a trippy place there, so I may end up dropping the phone or something. I'll have to uh, end this public portion and invite you to continue on your own. I expect I'll be back there in a moment. That's pretty heady. Thank you.